Good evening, everyone. I'd like to share something with you. Uh, some of you know, or most of you maybe know, that I work with clients and I help tell their story online. Or my line is, I get people to care so they can sell them shit. That's my actual line that, that we say. And the key to that is that they have to actually care about their employees, about their clients and all that stuff first. So it can't be, it's not a manipulating, we're not manipulating the audience, but I only work with people that actually give a shit. And uh, we get people to give a shit about them. Anyways, so I work with an artist, Doug Belding, uh, Doug Belding Fine Art, and most of his handles are at Doug Belding. And we do a live show every Thursday morning on Instagram at around 10. And just, it's like 20 minutes or half an hour, and it's usually him painting something. He's actually Nova Scotia's three out of four last years. Uh, he's won the art battle for speed painting for Nova Scotia. So he's in this particular Thursday, I brought an idea to him. I said, we're going to record one. We're doing one now, and we'll record it for next week because I go away to Toronto for a couple weeks. And I said, this is what we're going to do. Um, because he's really good. He does live painting for, for uh, things as well, doing live events, just paints live. Um, I'm going to play a Christmas song that he didn't know what it was, and he's going to paint what he feels. And I said, you're going to listen to the song maybe three or four times, but he, has no, he had no idea what song was going to be. We did it live, and it's one of my favorite Christmas songs, and it's this one. Christmas is the time of year For being with the ones you love Sharing so much joy and cheer What a wonderful feeling So as you heard, that's uh, it's a Ray Charles song. That's Matt Anderson. He's a local guy here that sings it. And for me, that song elicits a response. It reminds me of you're, you're around your family. It's like cozy. There's a fire on. And... Um, it's, it talks about, as the song progresses, it talks about being around family and how, and, and love and laughter and all that stuff. But, so the song started, I showed it to him, I played it for him, press play, and the song started, and he had an entire different interpretation of the song. And he like literally started painting or drawing within six seconds or seven seconds of the song coming on. And here's the speed, the time lapse of it, what he came up with. Sharing so much joy and cheer What a wonderful feeling Watching the ones we love So what he envisioned was The tone of it was almost like The guy or the person But he has a guy you know, Alone um, Kind of segregated himself from, from Christmas You know, he was a fun guy once um, but he's kind of uh, lost the feeling, and he's by himself. There's some wine bottles there. He does have. He has like the lamp from a Christmas story on the wall. If you, I'll actually put it right here. So he has a lamp. There's a lamp there, and he's just chilling. Um, and he's kind of lost the lost the Christmas feeling, and it's more it's lonely. He said it, it feels like a, a lonely Christmas song, um, and he hadn't really like he said I wasn't even really listening to the lyrics, but that's what I got, which was interesting. Because when I got home, uh, I said, you know, it was great. He's, that was done. First of all, that was done in about, uh, he listened to the song three times. That whole thing was done in, in, in whatever that is, uh, 12 minutes. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, so I get home and I tell the story to Sarah, my wife. And I say, oh, this. And he comes, it's Spirit of Christmas. It's one of my favorite songs. She goes, he goes, oh, she's like, that's so depressing. That's like, so not Christmas. It's, I picture you know, someone just alone. And I'm like, what? So then I told her, and I showed her the picture. I said, that's what he saw. So she saw the exact same thing he did, and she knows the song. Um, so I thought it was really interesting that I have a completely different feeling around the song, and I guess it it comes with your connection to what, where you, you know, what songs you have, um, uh, the feeling you have, or what happened around the song. I, I immediately think of Chevy Chase watching home movies, and and then, like, up in the attic and, uh, and my feeling towards my history of Christmas and all the memories and stuff. That's what I got of it. Anyways, I wanted to share that because, sorry, it's kind of a long story. But it's really interesting. And Doug is super, super uh, talented. I'll tag his Instagram here if you want to go check it out. But, 
Yeah, it was really interesting. And then he gave he came in yesterday. I gave him a Karen Counts hoodie for Christmas. I was like, here you go, buddy. Uh, he's kind of fancy, so I'm not sure if he wears a hoodie, but what are you going to do? If he, if he watches it, sorry, I called you fancy. Um, and then he came in yesterday. He said, you didn't take the picture, so because it says to me. Um, so he came with it framed and stuff. So as much as it's not like that uh, super family Christmas picture, it's a really interesting story, and it's awesome that he gave it to me, and it's really cool. So we're going to continue to do that now and then. I'm just going to play a song of whatever and see what it comes up with. Cheers, everyone. Word.